Greetings, everyone. My name is Sanjeev Venkatram, and welcome to another edition of User Delight with Microsoft Technology. In this case, what we'll do is to use Python inside Power BI, more specifically Power Query, to do text extraction. Let's head on over to Power BI to see more. Thank you very much. All right, here we are in our Power Query inside of Power BI, right? So basically, just to get back, um, I So we are in Power Query and so we are in Power BI and let us head on over to Power Query. So we go to transform data, go up to Power Query. And here we have a query, um, a transactions table essentially with expenses. Let us say this is actually coming from an ERP where, and I'm gonna go over to the source, where we have a list of transactions with employee ID embedded inside the transaction. As an example, this E9 in the first row, right? Now, it is to note that, you know, the E while the E component remains the same across all the employee IDs here, the numbers following it, like whether it's the first number nine, it could range from one through nine, and the number of digits could be anything, right? So there are two variations, right after the E, the first number could be different, and then the length here could be different. So we can't actually extract this using Power Query directly for the simple reason there is no wildcard entry within Power Query, and it becomes very complex in order for, for us to extract something like this. In fact, it may actually not be possible. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll head on over to Python inside of our Power BI, to be able to extract this inside Power Query to be able to extract this. Now, firstly, you need to have Python installed on your desktop. In my case, it's actually on my uh, C drive. And then if I were to, for a brief second, go over to Power BI here and go to File and go to Options and Settings and go to Options here, right? Go to Options. And if I were to go over to Python Scripting, it shows you where Python's actually loaded. So it gets you the path, basically. So that's how, you know, once you load your Python into your, uh, you know, local drive, it recognizes where Python is inside of uh, uh, Power BI. Now, once we are back here in our, um, in our uh, Power Query, uh, the source here is connected basically to SQL. If I were to edit this setting, it basically goes away and then shows you that of the uh, 100 odd million rows, I'm just getting the uh, you know 5 million rows over here. And then the next step here is actually to run a Python script. So I click on transform, I go to Python like so, and then if I were to you know say insert for a second, it basically asks me where is the data set, right? So we can actually give it a variable here, x, y, z, and then we can actually indicate where our data set is, right? So I've done this, I'm gonna actually cancel this, I'm gonna go edit this guy. So out here, I'm actually importing regular expressions, I'm also importing pandas, basically. And out here, you see that the data set is the categories column here, so that's how Python is able to pick up the column from your Power Query, right? Then I add a, a function, um, and this function basically, what it does is extracts out this particular employee ID. So what this is doing is it's actually looking for the first letter E here. Condition, so I'm gonna cancel this for a second, go back here, the settings. Uh, it wants to leave, I, wanna sh I wanted to show you this, but anyway, it does look like I won't be able to do that. But anyway, it um, starts with the bounding condition of E and then goes away and extracts out, the D here extracts out any number between uh, one through nine and then, you know, extract out uh, the, the bounding condition. The other side is basically a space. So essentially it extracts out any number of digits between one and nine to start with and anything that actually looks like a number um, you know, they're off, right? So that's what this number does. And if you want more confirmation, you literally could go over to 
your uh, Windows Copilot here as an example. And then, you know, in nowadays you could do this, you could merely grab hold of this like so and just ask it, if I were to go over to my Windows Copilot, ask it to, could you explain, explain this? And kindly excuse my English here. And there you go. And then it goes away. It'll actually give you the details as to how uh, the regex is actually compiled, right? So um, essentially, R tells you that it's a raw string. And then like we talked about the um, you know, binding condition, it basically starts off with um, you know, position of a word character, in this case, the letter E. And then it basically matches one or more digits and for any starting from zero through nine as the second digit, okay? And uh, it keeps going till it actually meets a space or so as another basically bounding condition, okay? Um, and it gives you examples over here saying that, hey, it would actually match E123, but not ABC for the simple reason it's looking for digits right after the E, which is exactly what our um, you know, uh, category column in the transaction table looks like, right? Then further, it basically extracts out the employee ID and it returns the IDs and that is put into a data frame out here called result. And then we can basically expand out on the result. In this case, I've got the data set because I want to see the category as well. So I go away, I click on the table here and that opens up our data set it gives me my category and the employee ID, right? Now, I do have to say that the maximum limit here uh, from a memory standpoint is about uh, two gigs, and that could mean roughly about uh, 30 million, 35 million rows, which is fairly substantial and should be okay for a small and medium business, okay? I trust this actually helps you in being able to get Python into your public query and do whatever it is you have to do, including you could have other libraries as well uh, for machine learning and so on and so forth. Python's a wonderful tool for that. And uh, here's wishing you the very best. Thank you very much.